Hi, this week I want to talk about how to increase the commitment of both your donors and the people around you. So raising the commitment, meaning how to get them to donate. So hi, I'm Bree Sokolowski, founder of CatholicFundraiser.net, and today I want to talk to you just very simply three different ways on how you can increase the commitment of the people around you. And usually I shoot this from my office, but today I'm actually in New York City and right behind me is actually the venue, the bar where I got married just a few months ago. And I don't know if you can see, but uh, my wife is, uh, is waiting for me at the bar. She's uh, just ordered me a cocktail. So I can't make this video too long. She's waiting for me. So anyways, let's dig into raising the commitment of people. And well, with fundraising, usually the focus is on trying to get people to do things for you. So, you know, getting them to donate, getting to increase their donation, getting to extend the donation. <clears throat> so we're always looking at raising their commitment. Well, one of the easiest ways to actually improve your fundraising is to actually increase your commitment to your cause, your mission. Now, what does that look like? What does that mean? Well, to raise your commitment simply means, in a nutshell, show the value of your mission of what you're trying to do as much more significant than what the person that you're asking for a donation for. Because what you want to see from their perspective is if they look at you and they see the work that you're doing, you want them to see, hey, my money going towards this organization, this cause, is really going to be um, well spent, well used and make an impact. And so they in their mind are looking for the exchange. Where is my bunny, where is my money going to make the biggest impact? So. You want to look at it from that perspective. So how do you increase your commitment, your value to your mission? And there's three really simple ways that you can start doing this today. The first way is actually to learn how to fundraise better than what you are doing right now. You know, learn more about how you can fundraise. Now, learning is extremely important in the Catholic faith. And you know, the Catechism talks about the virtues and in order to gain virtues, you have to um, become educated in them and take intentional um, actions in order to build up you know, virtues such as patience. Patience is not something that just happens by chance. We have to develop on it. So one of the best ways that you can learn how to fundraise is on my website, catholicfundraiser.net. I actually offer a wide variety of online courses on how to improve things such as major donors, um, even email and internet fundraising, which I think is a tremendous opportunity for everybody. Um, how to run a campaign from beginning to end and how to actually be a, a director, a finance a development director for your organization. So that's step one. Number two, the second way that you can actually increase your commitment to your fundraising, increase your fundraising, is simply finding a fundraising coach. Now, most Catholic organizations don't have the money to spend on a fundraiser to, de to hire a development director. And that's not too bad because, well, the best fundraising I found and when I speak to other fundraisers out there is the best fundraising happens from within. So you want to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with the right people to help you learn how to fundraise. And one of the best ways to do that is to get what I call a fundraising coach. Now every week I'm helping Catholic organizations um, run fundraising campaigns, communicate with donors, and even ask for donations. So go to my website, catholicfundraiser.net slash about and slash contact, both those sites, both those pages, and you'll get contact information on how to get in touch with me. And now the third way to improve your fundraising is very, very simple. It's taking action in your fundraising. Most Catholics are waiting until you know, the end of the year to do their fundraising or waiting during a certain time of the year to do their fundraising. So they pause everything. And this, this isn't what you want to do with your fundraising. You want to be able to fundraise throughout the year. Now that doesn't mean you're asking people for donations all the time and you're, you're pestering them. That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. What, there's always something that you can be doing. <clears throat> for example, you can be sending a thank you letter 
contacting somebody to get who you've just met and just you know getting in touch with them again or somebody that somebody said hey you should get in touch with them so you want to be constantly connecting with people communicating your value and your commitment to your cause which is going to inspire people to donate so these are three very simple ways that you can improve your fundraising and it, it all starts with you so you don't have to be running around chasing people running around you know spending hours and dollars and just a whole lot of work on running a campaign it just starts with you and figuring out hey what do I do on my day-to-day how do I improve my fundraising the things that I know how to do it and how can I be surrounded by the right people to improve my fundraising improve my commitment and show the value of everything that my mission is doing so that's it um, from New York from the place that I got married thank you so much for listening to this uh, video if you're listening via via podcast um, so happy that you listened in make sure to just have a leave a comment uh, send me a message let me know what you thought about this video this audio I'm here to help you with your fundraising God bless you and speak to you soon bye If you enjoyed this video on fundraising, make sure to subscribe. Um, right over there, right over there, it's going to be somewhere. Also, if you just enjoyed the scenic views of Catholicism in France, make sure to subscribe as well. And uh, just follow me along on learning how to fundraise and seeing the beauty of Catholicism in the south of France. Cheers. Santé.